Hello everyone, welcome to another part of renovating Sunset Valley. This is the Crumble Bottom Mansion, August Moon, whatever you want to call it, but I actually love this house. Like, it's cute before, it's a nice like modern kind of a mansion sort of a thing, um, and I completely changed it. Basically, this is my second submission for my little collab that I'm doing with some wonderful people, so be sure to check that out if you want. Anyone is welcome and there is a discord server which i will link below where you can like you know choose a lot and stuff like that or a household you want to give a makeover to or renovate you know if you want to renovate a lot and stuff but it's really cool and i'm i'm loving it it's just really nice to like do sims as well i never ever give sims makeovers so it's really nice to just do that as well and um, so of course agnes will be getting her little makeover at the end of this video so if you want to stick around for that um, then it's at the end of the building and everything like that. So yeah, it's really cool. But I do like this house. I definitely downsized because there, like, it was pretty big. Like it was, there was a lot of little bump outs and stuff that I just didn't really know what to do with them. So I deleted them instead of trying to, you know, make them work. They're now gone. Um, but it works best for me. But I kept a nursery and I obviously gave her her own bedroom. I think there's another empty bedroom, but you know, whatever, do whatever you want with that. I I don't know why there's another one because in the original house there was only two and there was no other Sims living here, but I like it. It fits in the space, so it's good enough for me. But anyway, we obviously have to keep the grave because that's just an essential. And I added a garage. I should have probably added a car of some kind, but I did not do that. But uh, yeah, I added a garage and stuff like that just because I felt like the house it just looked so like off balance or something like that It was just really missing something so I needed to but anyway um, What else is there to talk about? There's a the nice office and stuff like it's very much Not modern like it is it's quite different and you'll kind of notice that as I'm building it. It's still a beautiful home You know what I mean? I, like, I still really like it. It is just quite different to what it was but I actually had already renovated this and it was probably one of the first couple lots that I had actually renovated at, like, at the very beginning of renovating Sunset Valley. I think I was just feeling ambitious and was like, you know what? We've done the Clavel household, Victor's abode or whatever it's called. Let's do something crazy. So I tried to renovate Agnes Crumplebottom's house and notice the keyword tried. <laughs> I did not like it. It clearly did not see the light of day because I didn't like it. It just didn't work out how I wanted it to and it looked really weird and... It, I like, okay, I'm saying my excuse for why I didn't like it was because it didn't look good in the thumbnail, but like it didn't look good in the game. It didn't look good in build mode. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, but it is long gone now. Um, I literally have no evidence of it because I just did not like it. And I don't even like, it was definitely like, at, it was clearly at the beginning of my building and like renovating and everything because like, I just didn't know what I was doing. Whereas now I think... I'm a lot more comfortable with renovating and everything like that. That I, I just, I think I, I'm, you know, I'm a lot more familiar with it, and I, I really like it, and I'm really enjoying it and everything. And I think, I think I am better at it personally. But, um, please don't answer that. Please don't tell me if I'm better at it or worse at it because I don't want to know. I'll just say I'm better at it in my head. Anyway, gorgeous house. Kept the grave in the back of the garden instead of being at the front, um, because you know I just think that's better and it's nice to like. Uh, hidden with flowers around it and everything. I think is really, really sweet. But yeah, um, I think that's kind of all of that stuff at the house I wanted to talk about. But yes, it is part of the collab. So if you want to check that out, please go and do so. But on to me rambling for like half an hour. But I've been having computer problems. What a surprise. Um, yeah, what a surprise. Nothing new there. But the problems that I've been having is my whole PC will just crash out of nowhere, freeze out of nowhere, as in two monitors frozen, can't move my mouse, nothing. Like, if I'm, like, watching a YouTube video or if there's something with sound, the sound will just, like, the, you know what I mean? What If somebody's speaking, it will just go, Duh. like, I don't know. It's like the sound is playing, but it's everything is just frozen, so that's kind of frozen as well. But it's really annoying and it causes me to have to, like, you know, power it off the, the wall, like, flick the switch to, like, you know knock the power off I guess and it's really annoying because it's happened a couple of times in the middle of me streaming and there's like nothing I could do like I you know what I mean my only option is to just like you know power it off and everything which absolutely sucks and I don't know why it is because 
it I originally was thinking oh it's because like my pc is overheating but sometimes I will load up my pc like it's you know it's a new day load up my pc and I load up like you know google and I'm on youtube and it will just crash out of nowhere with one application open so like I genuinely don't even know what could be causing the issue it's very annoying. It probably is just my PC and it's old, old age because like it is not a new PC by any means. It's just, it has its days. It has its moments where it decides to not work. But if anybody, and I mean anybody, like has any sort of fix, like, oh, do this, do that. I did see something on Reddit that said you might need to clean your PC. Like it actually clean the physical tower and like, you know, get rid of dust. And let me just say, I may or may not have like a screen, like a case, like a whatever on my PC because I've had problems with it overheating. So um, yeah, dust is a problem for sure. Also, screen's not frozen. I'm just thinking, I guess. I don't know why I keep pausing like that. But anyway, but yeah, uh, there's no like screen on the side of it, which it is the side against the wall. So it's kind of better. Also though, it is the side by the window. So, you know, anything could be getting in there. Anyway, um, that's to stop it from overheating, okay? Like, I have got my reason why there is no screen on it. I can put it on, but just know that things will overheat. But anyway, I really need to clean the dust out of it. Um, but if anybody has any advice, because I have tried to do it before with, like, cotton buds, and I really don't think that's a good idea for cleaning it. Um, thing is, like, I just, I don't know. Like, I know there's, like, a can you can get to, like, spray stuff, but, like, girl, like, oh, I don't think I can do that. Anyway, um... But yeah, please, advice. I need it desperately because I was watching Vic Sims and, you know, wonderful streamer and simmer and everything. I will, I will link them below. So go check them out. But they were, they had a VOD that I was watching from literally yesterday and they were saying how they updated their OBS, which I also updated my OBS yesterday because, you know, new update cool, let me check it out, let me update it because, you know, I want things to be working as well as they can be, so I update it. And then they were saying how as soon as they updated it, or like, you know, after they had updated it and they were playing Sims, their Sims was crashing. And I was like, oh, funny story. You know, funny you say that because my Sims has also been crashing ever since I updated my OBS. And like, again, you'll see that if you've been watching my streams because I had a stream where my sims also crashed, which is really annoying. Um, so a lot of problems that I really want to get sorted. So if anybody has any sort of advice for anything that I've mentioned, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, um, I've had to like put a little pause on streaming because it's just so like demotivating when you're like really into it and then everything crashes and you lose like what you've just done. It's just really demotivating to the point where I'm just like, okay, I can't do anything like, the, like the, you know what I mean as much as I want to I can't because it's just gonna keep crashing and I'm gonna keep getting annoyed and just be like okay well why not just not stream so for now I'm saying hold on on the streams until it's been like a couple weeks maybe not a couple weeks a couple days where there's no issues I may do the odd one here and there but if by any chance it's still like crashing then like I seriously need to like do my research so please any advice is welcome. Anything, even if it's a stupid thing like, ooh, I don't even know. Anything. I will accept any advice because I will literally do anything right now. Um, but yeah, it's very annoying. Like it used to do that. Basically, I have a new account, like a new profile, which is now my own one. I used to be on my dad's one because nothing might like no Microsoft thing used to work. Um, but now it is working, so I have been able to make my own account. So I had an old account, which was like my dad's one. And that used to do the exact same thing where the entire PC would just freeze out of nowhere. But then it kind of stopped doing it. So I'm wondering, maybe it's just because it's a new thing. And like, I have, like, I'm trying my best to keep drivers and stuff updated. Just if that is possibly an issue, I just want to put it out there. I am trying my best to keep drivers updated. But it is not the easiest thing in the world because I swear to God, I will update them one day and then the next day, oh, there's another one outdated or like things are crashing again because it's you know, a driver's outdated again. And it's like, how on earth am I supposed to be updating my drivers every single day? Like, that's insane. 
maybe that's just you know or maybe not every day but maybe like having to update them a lot is like a normal thing but that to me does not seem like a normal thing like that seems crazy so um yeah that's wonderful anyway um i wanted to talk about this so i was on twitter and i saw i can't remember who said it but somebody was saying oh imagine doxing a mod creator over them not releasing a mod and it's for the sims 4 and the mod creator is turbo driver who i think does like wonderful whims and stuff basically long story short they were going on vacation or something like that basically they were unable to release the update for their mod at that exact point because they were busy completely understandable but somebody was unhappy <laughs> that wonderful whims or whatever it was was not being updated so they went ahead and doxed turbo driver like actually release their address um because they wouldn't release a mod that is actually the craziest thing i have ever heard like it just actually blows my mind and like imagine being a modder now after seeing that and you'd be like rushing to get your mods out like quickly update them update them like i don't want to be doxxed but that is so scary that somebody just d does that over a game like it genuinely blows my mind that there are people like that in the world who will do that and um yeah it's disgusting it's like me like a subscriber or something or just a viewer of my videos being like hey upload this video like what are you doing and i'm like on vacation and i can't upload it that's so stupid like i would actually be so scared if i was a modder but um yeah i need to like look into that more but it's actually just crazy like it is actually crazy also oh my god so i didn't exactly see the moment but my dad was telling me somebody at the olympics was doing like archery like this is okay completely off topic complete change of topic they were doing archery and obviously you know archery you need a lot of focus you need to be keeping your eye on the target whatever i don't know i'm clearly not an archery expert so if i'm saying something wrong d don't judge me just pretend i'm an expert but they were doing archery ready to go and you know <laughs> shoot the arrow i guess whatever and a bee landed on their hand causing them to lose focus and like it's crazy like i think they only had one shot like i, I don't exactly know the full situation but i'm pretty sure like that was it like their go was over you know move on next person which is so sad like you know what i mean they can't control the bee they can't control all that stuff so that's really annoying but I would be so angry if a bee landed well okay i wouldn't be angry if the bee landed on my hand but i'd be angry if like that was my go over and like that's you know your time in the olympics all your training comes down to this one moment and a bee messed it up that would be so infuriating but anyway um what else oh yes so my mother hates stranger things we have tried to get her to watch stranger things so much and she's just you know not interested or like when we say get her to watch it like she's watched the first episode i think or parts of it i just isn't interested fair enough we were like come on you need to give it a proper go so now we're watching it and like we've just finished season one and i love it it is actually so nice just to go back and i'm like seeing so many things that i would have missed beforehand so it's really nice to now go back and like be noticing these little details and stuff but it's she's not into it at all and i like oh it's so annoying because it's like it's just so nice watching it with somebody who hasn't seen it before because they're like asking questions and you're like answering questions and you're like oh yeah you know you're kind of figuring out things in your head in a way and you're kind of realizing why somebody did something because she kind of picks up on it and stuff even if i might not have so it's really cool like that but she is just not interested at all but she's giving it a go which is really good and yeah, like we've just finished season one. Well, we actually haven't. We've got about 20 minutes left, but it is so good. I'm actually really enjoying it again. I'm like, you know, I'm like surprising myself because me and my dad would like rewatch it so many times and we'd get to like the same point in season one and we'd be like, yeah, I'm bored. Like we've seen this so many times. I'm done. I'm bored. And now I'm just like really into it and I just can't wait to watch more. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really fun and a nice little show we've been watching and also we've been watching another show it's called colin from accounts and it's an australian show it is so funny like i seriously recommend it See, like the first season has been out a like a couple years and so it's probably easy enough to find season two though we are currently watching that kind of illegally but 
I'm not gonna, you know, talk about that too much, but it's not as easy to find because it's literally just been posted, been posted, it's just been released in Australia, so it's not quite, like, here yet or anywhere else yet, so yeah, but I, I really recommend it, like, it's genuinely so funny and, like, there's little moments in it and we would literally just be, like, laughing so much, but, um, the dog in it, who is Colin, you know, um, the dog is, like, our old, like, my old dog, who was a border terrier and everything, so it's just, like, really sweet just to, like, see the dog all the time and everything, it's really sweet, but no, it's a really nice show and I really recommend it, just, you know, if you happen to find it anywhere, if it just happens to be on TV, definitely give it a go because we loved it and we were waiting so patiently, well, not really patiently, we were, like, constantly waiting for updates on season two just to see whenever it was getting posted and it is out so please watch it if you have not already. And what else is there? Grey's Anatomy. Oh my god, I'm sick of Grey's Anatomy. Like, I know I've been raving about it. I'm like, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good. I'm sick of it. Like, I'm on season six. And like, okay, I think I get to season six in shows all of the time. And that's like my, that's it. Like, I'm done after that. Because like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, same thing. Season six, I cannot watch seven. I have one season left. But I just can't, like, it's just not good anymore and I'm just really, really not enjoying it. But with Grey's Anatomy, it's like every single character is just complaining about every little thing and I am just so fed up with it. Like, oh, I don't know. It's just gotten, gotten annoying now and I've just completely given up with it. But yeah, also, speaking of things I'm so fed up with, editing. I have not a lot of, to edit, like, obviously I'm editing this right now, but like, actual gameplay, oh my god, like, I am so fed up with editing gameplay, and yeah, I'm really not enjoying it right now. I think it's because streaming, though, and streaming has just, like, ruined my patience, and knowing that I can just quickly stream for a little bit, not for a little bit, but, like, I can stream, and you know what I mean, you can consume that content rather than me having to, like, play it and edit it and everything like that, you know what I mean? It's basically, like, cutting the job in half that I need to do if I was recording it or whatever. So I'm not a fan of editing it. And also I was kind of thinking when it comes to uploading my legacy onto YouTube, like once legacy, legacy, once generation one is over, I'm planning on uploading the legacy to YouTube just so everyone can watch it. But um, I think I'm going to do it by streams and just cut out like really unnecessary parts or like if there's like a long pause, I'll cut that out. But I think what I'm going to do is pretty much just upload the VOD, um, but you know, it's on YouTube so you can watch it, but then I was also thinking I could just like not upload it and then you've got your own challenge on YouTube which is leprosy, which I'm trying to edit. I am trying so hard but I genuinely, I'm getting so fed up with it but um, you know, I'm trying my best so there's that. What else has been happening in the world? I genuinely don't know what has been happening. I saw Twisters in the cinema that was fun. Oh, my birthday is coming up. That's what's happening in the world. My birthday is coming up. It is in nine days. It is on the 10th of, Aug 10th of August. Nine days. And I'm very excited. You know, I'm excited for the birthday itself. But the thing about August is I have school this month. <laughs> like, that's where my th thoughts immediately go is like, I have school this month which is at the end of the month, which is not so bad, but I still have school this month, so it, it kind of sucks all the fun out of my birthday and the month in general, and I definitely tend to be not as happy this month, which is just wonderful, um, and I'm really not looking forward to it. Like, I am looking forward to seeing friends, of course, but I'm not looking forward to the actual school itself. I'm really not looking forward to it, um, but, you know, I'm gonna stop talking about it because the more I talk about it, the more I'll remember and the more that I'll just dread it even more. So, you know, August will be good. My birthday will be good. Um, you know, new month, new beginning. <laughs> so I guess, like, I guess I'll just, you know, take each day as it comes, which is great. But I really want to stream and it's so annoying that things are going wrong. But what I'm gonna try and do is sort out my problems because if I delay it anymore, I'm not going to be able to do anything, so please help me if you have any idea. Even if you've got links to, like, websites or 
anything like that, please share them. Even if it's on like Discord, which again is linked below, I will take all the help that I can get because, you know, I have a lot of problems and they need solving. And I cannot solve them myself. Look at the office. I did the bookshelves there behind the desk. I love them so much. Now, when I was taking screenshots, it doesn't look overly interesting or anything because there's like not a whole lot on the desk apart from like a lamp. I think it's a lamp or maybe it's flowers. I'm not too sure. Anyway, the screenshots don't make the room look overly exciting. I don't even know if I added that screenshot in, but I love it. I think it's really nice and it's cool. Like it's something different. And then here in the little corner is like a chair, like it's like a couch with an armchair beside it. And it's, it's a record player, I think, but it looks like, what is it? A gramophone? Is it a gramophone? Oh my God. Wait, I don't actually know. Maybe it's not, but it's some sort of like a a record player looking thing. So yeah, I really like it and I'm very, very happy. Also, once renovating Sunset Valley is over, I plan to move on to another world. So I put a poll up on YouTube community posts, so be sure to check that out. It is like pretty much like, you know, endless, so, like there's no kind of end to the poll. Obviously, it will be over once like Sunset Valley and everything has been renovated and I want to choose the next lot. But up until then, which will probably be a while away, you have loads of time to vote on it. So if you haven't, please do so. The options off the top of my head are Twinbrook, Moonlight Falls, Starlight Shores and Appaloosa Plains. Just four random worlds and obviously you guys can choose whatever you want me to renovate. So at the moment, I'm pretty sure Twinbrook is winning and I have had a lot of replies on that post saying they want Moonlight Falls and I want Moonlight Falls too, but I just think you guys choosing will be more fun so that, you know, you can have a say in it and everything. And then also next time, the next world and everything. I think what I'm going to say is if we manage to get whatever world is next, Twinbrook or whatever it is, if we manage to get it done before summer, before next summer, I will be doing um is a party so for that summer and I'll just try and go crazy because it's a summery world and I think it's the best and I think it's the best suited for that and then maybe after that I do Moonlight Falls as more of like an autumnal cozy sort of a world so depending on how things go the next two worlds might end up being chosen already possibly um but you know we'll see how things go and there's obviously no worry no rush whatever it's just like a fun little thing and again, you voting on it, it's a fun little thing and you guys can just have fun with that. I want you to have a say in it. I think that's kind of nice and I want you to have a say in it. Also, I was literally just thinking about this. I mentioned it on stream, but I was building obviously this house uh, or renovating this house. And when I was furnishing it, in the, on the left, in the little like, you know, couch, record player, tele, not telephone, gramophone thing, whatever, there is a base game plant and the leaves are so bright like they are bright green this house is like kind of cozier darker and same with a lot of my other homes like they're cozier and darker and everything like that so a big like a bright green plant like that it just really changes everything up and ruins the vibe i feel like and same with other plants like it's not the only one but does anybody know any possible way whether it's a mod that somebody's already made or how i myself can make a mod or do some sort of like a recolor on it that I can make it less bright or allow you to recolor it depending on the home because I really really want to do that so again if anybody has like a mod that they have done that already I need it okay I need it or if you know how to like recolor things and stuff like that I would really appreciate um any sort of tips and stuff like that on those kind of things because I'm completely clueless on it and I would love some info and I would love some help on that because it's just really really annoying when it completely just takes away the dark and coziness and makes it super bright but here's the bedroom I'm really enjoying it I really like the bedroom it's a lot like brighter than it probably would have been like probably her original house was but I don't care like I like it I'm really happy with it and I think it's cool and I think all the furniture really goes nicely together and it's kind of like old like antique looking and like this dresser oh my god I love that so much I just think it's so cool looking and I'm really happy with it and I just kind of put a little bit of clutter around it also my like my mom has a like a pottery shed and she obviously does pottery in that pottery shed 
and I love it like it is so cool like I have so many little you know jars and stuff which hold like pens and like crochet hooks and paintbrushes and things like that they are so handy and little dishes everywhere and in our whole house it's the same thing that there's stuff used everywhere and it's really really cool and she made mugs just made them and she let like also like me my brother my cousin like paint them and everything uh, or like, put glaze and stuff you know and oh my god it is so fun like it was just really nice and really relaxing to just sit there have music on or youtube whatever and just be able to just paint and just you know I did like I can show you like I have photos of the before obviously not the after when it's in the kiln and has been fired and stuff like that but I have the like before pictures and it's really cool I just did like stars and stuff going around the mug and it's really cool and yeah it's really nice and I think we're doing more at some point we you know it's not planned yet but she said that she might make some more stuff and get us to paint them which would be really cool but um we have been having a lot of problems with both our kiln and our shower so got the kiln in a couple years ago and ever since then not ever since then but like since that's been put in a little while later we like our shower has been tripping where you're in the shower you know washing your hair whatever and it trips and you have to like get out and tell somebody to turn it back on when you're like <laughs> butt naked you know freezing cold standing there so it's not great it's really not ideal so we've tried to be in contact with like a electrician or whatever to fix it and sort out the problem because you know we can't do it ourselves and first of all let me explain this so the electrician who we were in contact with was like yep be there on saturday didn't show up saturday and they messaged us and they were like hey can't be there saturday but i'll be there tuesday tuesday rolls around no sign of the electrician and you know my mom messaged him and was like hey like you know what's going on where are you no word and then he eventually he shows up like a little while later and we were like great it's fixed it's all done I everyone had a shower and no problems I had a shower and it tripped again so that was great and I was just so annoyed because it's like it always seems to trip when I'm in the shower and I say it all the time but it's true like it always happens to me and it is so annoying because it just makes it so like it makes me so anxious which is so stupid but I just cannot have a relaxing shower because I'm just constantly waiting for it to trip so um yeah apparently he's going to be here at some point this week but it's Wednesday well it's technically Thursday but it's basically Wednesday and we don't know when that's gonna happen which is just great but um the kiln my mom's kiln has also tripped twice which if they're on like the same thing they're like linked or something but apparently it's because our shower is like too high watt or something like oh god I have not got a clue what he was even saying but um yeah there's that anyway also here's our little makeover this is Agnes Crumblebottom she's gorgeous I obviously didn't mess with any of her facial features facial features but also let me know if you would like to see makeovers for every household I might not do it for Sunset Valley, but for like, you know, the future world, whatever we end up doing. If you'd like to see any makeovers and stuff for households, not only like this and this one and the, what other house was it? It might've been the second motor one that I actually did a makeover for The Sims. No, it wasn't. It was Single Moms where I actually did a makeover on the household and it was like an exception. Like I don't normally do that in videos, but if you would like to see makeovers more often at the end of videos I would absolutely love to give it a go at some point because it's fun it's something different and it mixes it up a little bit also I'm sorry if you're you subscribe to me for normal builds I want to do them at some point but I'm really just trying to get Sunset Valley finished so that is my main priority okay I'm sorry but that is my main priority at the moment so um like I said if that's not what you're interested in then I'm sorry watch my old videos but I'm gonna try and do some builds at some point over maybe the weekend or something but I don't know I just really haven't been in that kind of mood to like I think it's more furnishing I'm really not liking furnishing recently I just think I'm just doing the same thing in every single house so I really need to like do something different but I don't know how to do that because it's very annoying but I've been really enjoying renovating. That's been fun. But anyway, I am going to leave you here. There is really not long left of the video. 
but screenshots for the actual house will be coming up but anyway feel free to enjoy the rest of her uh outfits and stuff they're really nice and she originally had this like blue like a dark teal or something so I tried my best to keep that on most of her outfits not most of her outfits but like a little detail here and there um and as well as that I tried my best to keep it in the house too because I don't think it's her favorite color I'm pretty sure it's not I think it's like brown or something or something completely different but either way I tried my best to keep that sort of uh like a color because it was originally in her outfit so I was like maybe it's her favorite color um and yeah there you go also here's me taking screenshots there you go how nice is that here are the screenshots for the actual house. I really appreciate you sticking around watching this video. Don't forget to follow my socials, all linked down below, and my collab Discord, not mine, but the collab Discord um, for anybody. Anybody's welcome. If you want to take part and renovate some lots or give some Sims makeovers, it is linked below and feel free to check that out. I will be sure um, to claim some more lots, but thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Goodbye.